start out with the presentation of the colors. The flag will be raised. Anytime you're ready, gentlemen. Raise the colors. National Anthem by Dominic Garfalo. Dominic, please step forward. Brandon. Brandon. Brandon, I'm sorry. played by Petty Officer 3rd Class Tyler Tuttle of the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps, Volrath Division. Michigan, the crew will uh, entertain all who observe them as they turn and drop to a thousand feet and at 330 miles per hour and full afterburner approaching South Pier over their primary target, our Winslow location here. At this unprecedented flyover, it will serve to thank all military members past and present and also kick off Sheboygan County's Independence Day activities. It will also mark the beginning of the under construction phase of the Winsa 
Military Heritage Museum and Education Center. I'd like to thank the Naval Ship Association for hosting the ceremony today. This group has already spent many years planning and fundraising to develop this facility and this project. I'd like to ask the Winston Board President Larry Hinkleman for his comments at this time. Larry? Thank you, Mike. As President of the Wisconsin Naval Ship Association, this is fantastic for everybody to be here this evening. We're really looking forward to the flyover. And again, as Mike said, this is really for three things. One, to thank our, our service men and women, past, present, and future, to, to commemorate our uh, National Day of Independence. And not, not last, not least, but the opening of our under, what we call our under construction phase of our Military Heritage Museum and Education Center. Winsa is working on this building to make it a museum. We're also working very hard to get a ship donated by the Navy so that we can have a floating museum here in the Sheboygan Harbor. Um, we're still working on it, that's about all I can say. At this point, uh, I want to thank you all for being here, and thank you, Mike. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate all the work that you and your board are doing to make this project a reality. Next, I'd like to give a, just a little brief rendition about what uh, Fourth of July means to me. As kids, we all grew up celebrating the Fourth of July and looking forward to the parades, food with family, and fireworks. As a matter of fact, my son Rob, who was born on the 5th of July for many years, thought that the whole celebration was just part of his birthday. Somewhere in our growing up days, we began to realize the meaning of Independence Day. With that awareness, the rebirth of patriotism took place in all of us. July 4th is the birthday of our nation. I believe and I hope that you agree with me that it's the birthday of the greatest nation on earth. From a speech by Ronald Reagan, it was noted that in 1776, in a little hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a day on which debate raged for hours, the men there gathered were honorable men, hard pressed by a king who had flouted the very laws that they were willing to obey. But even so, to sign the Declaration of Independence was such an irretrievable act that the walls resounded with the words treason, gallows, and the headman's axe. The issues remained in doubt. Legend says that at that point, a man rose and spoke. He summoned all the energy for an impassioned plea. He cited the grievances that had brought them to this moment, and finally his failing voice said, they may turn every tree into a gallows, every hole into a grave, and yet the words on that parchment can never die. To the mechanic in the workshop, they will speak hope. To the slave in the mines, freedom. Sign that parchment. Sign it if the next moment the noose is around your neck, for that parchment will be the textbook of freedom, the Bible of rights forever. The 56 delegates in that room, swept up by his eloquence, rushed forward and signed that document destined to be as immortal as the work of man can be. When they turned to thank him for his timely oratory, he was not to be found, or could not be found. Who knew who he was, or how he had come and gotten through locked and guarded doors? Well, that's the legend. But we do know that for certain that 56 men, a little band so unique that we have never seen their like since, had pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. Some gave their lives in the war that followed, most gave up their fortunes, and all preserved their sacred honor. What manner of men were they? 24 were lawyers, 11 were jurists, others were merchants or tradesmen, 9 were farmers. They were soft-spoken men of, of means and education. They were not an unwashable rabble. They had achieved security, but valued freedom more. Their stories have not been told nearly enough. But they sired a nation that grew from sea to shining sea. This act led to a revolution that changed the very concept of government. Let the 4th of July always be a reminder that in this land, for the first time, it was decided that a man is born with certain God-given rights, that government is only a convenience that's created and managed by the people, with no powers of its own except those voluntarily granted to it by its people. We sometimes forget that great truth. We never should. I want to wish all of you a happy 4th of July, and as you celebrate this week, please remember the sacrifices our founding fathers made to start this revolution, and the military volunteers who served to protect our country and our freedoms that they fostered. 
Thank you very much. I'd really like to take this moment to thank the representatives of the different units that are here, Sheboygan Coast Guard, uh, Coast Guard Sheboygan Station, I'll get it yet, really I will, uh, Civil Air Patrol, the Sea Cadet, Mulrath Division, the Navy, and where did he go? Somebody else was here from the Navy, and that's about all, that all I see here. Yeah, I want to thank everybody, and Navy, there he is, hiding back here. I want to thank all of you for representing today. Thank you very much. Air Where's Air Force? Did I miss him? Nope, still left there. Okay, we'll take a break. Uh, the plane is due over in about two minutes, and then we'll resume our program after it's passed over. Thanks for coming today. On behalf of Ron Rowan and the F-16 pilots, I'd like to thank all the military service members, veterans, and those who have made the ultimate sacrifice so our nation can continue to celebrate our freedom. Very special thanks to the Naval Sea Cadet Corps, which are led by T.L. Brandon Frowell, and also the effort to demonstrate the importance of joint military operations. Thanks to Sheboygan County Composite Civil Air Patrol members, which are led by Major Rick Mertz. Can you and your personnel please raise your hands and be recognized for your support of the ceremony? I would also like to thank all of our service members that are present and their service support. The Army, Navy, and Marine Corps, and also the Coast Guard members and Air Force members and veterans. Please raise your hands and be recognized for your service. Sheboygan County Board Chairman, our uh, County Assistant to the Administrator Kay Lorenz, and GIS expert Brett Zimba for working with Ron Rowan in the planning of this historic flyover for Sheboygan County. Prior to retiring the colors, I would again like to thank everyone for coming, and I hope you have a great 4th of July. Thank you much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.